What if I told you that you could make an AI version of yourself that records videos 24 seven, even while you sleep? Now, I'm not talking about some sci-fi fantasy here. This is actual reality nowadays. There's this new tool that came out in NVIDIA V4 called AI Twins, which allows you to make a clone of yourself or even use one of their AI actors and basically make videos, whether we are talking about long form or short form, without actually having to sit down and record the video and audio. Look, I've been in the content creation space for over eight years at this point, and I am absolutely mind blown by the changes that are happening every single day in this space. Now, whether you like AI or not, at this point, it's undisputable that it's going to become a huge part of growing on social media. And those people who embrace this technology are going to dominate and those who don't are going to be left behind. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone yourself with AI in just a couple of minutes, even without being a technical genius. If you want to follow along for this tutorial, you can check out the first link in the description below where you can also sign up for this tool. Now, before we even get started with the actual technical part, the most important thing that you need to understand is that your AI output is only going to be as good as your input. Meaning if you put in very trash quality footage into the cloning software, then it's not going to give you the best outputs either. So it's really important that you just follow a couple of simple steps. First of all, for cloning the audio, here are the things that you want to look out for. Make sure to record in a quiet and ideally echo free environment with a high quality microphone. You want to keep a consistent distance from your microphone, ideally around 10 to 20 centimeters or a couple of inches. This will make sure that the audio quality is going to be as high as possible that you can get from your mic. Also, you want to avoid mouth pops, clicks or any sort of background noises. And you also want to record at least a couple minutes of audio and keep little spaces between your sentences so the AI can create the best quality clone from it. Now, as far as the video checklist, here are the things you should look out for there. You want to record in 1080p or even 4K resolution with a good quality camera. Now, if you have a DSLR or some sort of mirrorless camera, you can use that or you can also use your iPhone's back camera in the 4K setting. You want to make sure that your camera, whether it's your phone or an actual camera, is on a tripod and it's steady and the framing is on point where you are in the middle and there is a little bit of space above your head and you are otherwise centered nicely on the image. Also make sure to speak directly to the camera. You want to have amazing eye contact. You also want to make sure to have even and soft lighting on your face so you don't have a lot of shadows all over the place. This makes it easier for the AI to create high quality outputs. You can use a soft softbox, a ring light, or even a big window as your light source. And you also want to have a simple background such as something like this, or even a plain wall. Just make sure that it's not very complicated and doesn't have a ton of elements in it. And last but not least, don't do too many hand gestures. Try to keep it relatively minimal and keep your hand movements simple and not all over the place. Now with those things in mind, let's jump into the software and create our AI clone. So this is NVIDIA, the platform that we are going to be using. And what you want to do next is click here on AI Twins. Now, all you have to do to be able to create a clone of your voice and also your avatar is click on one of these options. Now, first of all, if you want to clone your voice, uh, then you can just click here on clone voice and follow these simple instructions. You want to upload at least 30 seconds of audio. I would actually recommend going for a bit more. You want to make sure to say this exact sentence in your audio recording, speak naturally and have small pauses between the sentences and use high quality equipment for better results. And then after that, you just upload your file here and it will create your AI voice for you in a couple of minutes. Now for creating the actual clone of yourself, you you have two options that you can choose from. You either go with the YouTube video to avatar route. So if you already have YouTube videos on your channel where you're just sitting down and talking to the camera, technically you could just go ahead, click here and paste in the link of your video and in video is automatically going to download that for you and make the AI clone from that. So it's super convenient, but I would actually encourage you if you want to get the best results possible to record 
your own AI training video, right? So with that option, you would click here on the recording to avatar and follow these instructions. So it needs to be at least 60 seconds long. Also, you need to say this exact sentence in the recording at some point to make sure that you authorize the platform to actually make your clone. And this also is great for safety because someone else cannot just easily make a clone of yourself, right? You want to speak naturally and pause between sentences, look directly in your camera and have good eye contact and also use high quality equipment. Now, after that, you just click here on choose files. And as you can see, I already made this exact video right here where I'm just simply speaking into the camera and training the AI. And after that, you just open the file, you click all of these boxes. And then after that, you just press here on looks good. And now it's going to go ahead and upload your AI avatar into the system and make it for you. See how simple that is? It's probably a lot easier than you would have imagined. Now, after this, it's going to process this and make your avatar for you. Now, once your avatar is ready, it's going to look something like this. So you can just go ahead and click on the avatar and you can also even choose a different clone voice. Now, it's also going to make a clone voice from your actual avatar. So it's super simple. You don't even need to necessarily record the voice separately. Uh, it will do it all together. But if you want to, you can also record a voice separately and then you'll get better results most likely. But anyways, after that, you just click here, click on continue. And now you can actually prompt the AI to make whatever it is that you want it to do. So for example, I'm going to say, make my avatar create a one minute short video about three tips for recording better content. I want the tone of the video to be informative yet entertaining. And the craziest thing is it cannot only do short form videos for you. You could even make long form videos. Uh, you could even make ads with this, whatever you want really. And then you just click here on generate my video. After that, it's going to analyze your prompt and then give you a couple of more customization options before generating the final video. Now here, I'm going to select for the platform, TikTok and Instagram Reels. For the audience, I'm going to choose aspiring creators and then also you can even choose from a creative strategy. Uh, so you could choose from start with a bold hook, add a funny twist or end with a call to action. The difference between plan one and two here is that plan one generates an avatar with stock footage in the B-roll and plan two generates an avatar with generative footage in the B-roll. And you can even modify the plan right here by just simply prompting it and then it will modify it for you, right? So it's super cool that you have all of this flexibility. And the crazy thing is, again, it does it for you, right? You don't even write the script necessarily. You don't have to do really anything. Just come up with the idea and it's going to make the video for you. Now, of course, I'm not saying that this system is perfect right now and that you don't need to make any adjustments to make the content great. But if you think about how much time this can save you, it's actually kind of mind boggling. And after that, you just click here on continue and it will generate the video video for you. And now here's my generated video. Your videos look amateur and it's not your fault. Here are three simple fixes that'll change everything. First, lighting is everything. Stop recording in your dark bedroom. Find a window, face it, and boom. Instant professional look. Seriously, no more vampire videos unless you want your viewers to scroll away fast. As you can see, it added B-roll on top of what I'm saying. And it's my actual clone talking right here and it looks just like me, okay? Now I also went ahead and I generated a version with the plan two, and this is how it looks with 100% generative B-rolls. Your videos look off, but you can't figure out why? I'm about to share three recording secrets that'll instantly level up your content. First, lighting is everything. Stop recording with that harsh overhead light casting shadows under your eyes. Instead, face a window during the day or grab a simple ring light. Soft, even lighting makes you look professional instantly. Second, audio quality beats video quality every time. Your phone's built-in mic picks up every echo and background noise. Get a simple lapel mic or even record in a closet full of clothes. It acts like a natural sound booth. After you have watched your preview, you can click here on edit and download. And if you want to make further adjustments to the video, you can simply prompt it right here and it will make the adjustment. So let's say I want to add captions uh, in a bold font on the middle of the screen. And then I just click here on the arrow and it's going to hopefully add some captions to my video. And it's really interesting how you can also see the process that the AI is going through step by step as it's making the adjustments for you. All right, so there we go. It added captions 
throughout the entire video for me. Now, one thing is it actually made it in yellow, which is um, not what I really wanted, but I didn't specify what color it should be. So I can now just go ahead and say, change the subtitle color to white, which it actually predicted that I wanted to say, which is pretty wild and add a drop shadow to it. And let's see how it's going to be able to perform this change. So this is how my captions are looking currently on the video. And there we go. Now our captions color has been changed and it added even the drop shadow to it, which is really nice, right? If you look at it, this is how it's looking right now. You can see that it even added me with kind of like a green screen look in one of the corners throughout the video. So it's also perfectly kind of recreating some of the viral formats from Instagram Reels and TikTok as well. And also keep in mind that for now, this is the Express avatar of NVIDIA. Now let's try to do another command, which is I want the language of the video to be French instead of English. Now, if you think about it, like this opens up also a lot of new opportunities because you could be making your content in any language if you don't have to actually say it and speak it. All right, and it should be almost done translating the entire video that I just generated into French. So let's take a look. Vos vidéos en l'air amateur, et ce n'est pas de votre faute Voici trois solutions simples qui vont tout changer. Sérieusement, plus de vidéos de vampire. I could even go ahead now and prompt the AI to translate the entire video to French and it will be able to completely take care of that. Or even if I tell it to make a certain section shorter, it can easily take care of that as well. Now, if you want to make more manual adjustments, of course, that's also something you can do. You just have to click here on edit and then come here to script. For example, if you want to change any part of the script and you just click right here and add whatever sentences or words that you want to. Uh, you can even choose the stock media that's played on top of that part and even the narration voice. You can also change the music if you want, uh, whatever music you would like to uh, put under it or change any of the B-roll segments right here. And they have a huge library of stock videos and stock photos that you can use as B-roll. Or if you come here to settings, you can also change a bunch of other things right here, such as the music master volume, voiceover master volume, text presets, and so on. Now, once you are fully happy with your edit, all you have to do is click here on download and then choose no watermarks, no NVIDIA AI branding, and the highest resolution possible. And after that, you click on continue. And just like that, in a couple of minutes, you will be able to download your final video. Your videos look amateur and it's not your fault. Here are three simple fixes that'll change everything. First, lighting is everything. Stop recording in your dark bedroom. Find a window, face it, and boom. Instant professional look. Seriously, no more vampire videos. Let the light in. Unless you want your viewers to scroll away, fast. So that is it. I just created together with you an entire short form video that wasn't shot by me, wasn't scripted by me, and wasn't recorded by me in just a couple of minutes using AI. Now you can also create your own AI avatar for free using NVIDIA. However, if you want to start producing consistent content, maybe make some UGC ads or whatever it is, I highly recommend upgrading to the generative plan. This starts at $100 and will allow you to have enough credits to be able to create a good amount of videos every single month. This is the plan that I personally use as well and it's the best bang for your buck out of the whole selection. So I really hope you enjoy this video. If you want to try out the tool as well, check out the first link in the description below. And if you want to see more content like this from me, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.